today we will learn about disk plot let's understand this what is disk plot it's nothing but the distribution plot the category which we have been learning in this series right in this series of distribution plot we learned histogram kde plot and rock plot but this function which is disk plot provides you the functionality to create them all together just in one function and it produces the result something like this not only this after this it also provide you the facility so that you can split this one pivot i'm sorry this one plot further basis on the categorical variables something like this if you see over here this that one distribution plot is splitted in three payment method basis on the three payment method and that has the combination of each of these three plots like kde histogram and the rug plots not only this if you want you can split it further but that time you're gonna do that in row so till now you see it is split it basis on the payment method now if you want you can further split it basis on gender as well so now these are split it basis on the combination of payment method and gender hello everyone welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon as per the official website website the disk plot accepts all these arguments out of which we will be learning those arguments which are most frequently used and are very important so now without wasting the time let's jump to the jupyter notebook and let's start this exciting journey of creating the disk plot well so here we have our all the required libraries imported and the data mart data is imported over here with some specific variables when i say data mart that means super mart okay now let's start with our first disk plot so when you plot a disk plot in a normal just without giving much of the conditions it by default it just creates the histogram right so now here i just provided the data frame name and then i'm going to give the variable name so if you see by default it is giving you the histogram now if you want to combine kde plot all that you need to do is just say kde equals to true and then you have the kde included into this like you can see it now further if you want you can combine rug plot as well all that you need to do is just say rug equals to true and then you have the rug included over here now apart from this if you want to use the features on rug plot for example you want to increase the height of rugs over here right so all the features we have learned in rug plot which were specific to the rug only that you can also use just by saying let's say rug underscore kws that stands for keywords and you need to pass a dictionary so in dictionary you need to provide the argument of rug plot which is height remember previously we were not putting this into the quotation but because here we are using the using dictionary so that's why we have to use the use that as a string right and then you can just provide the value of it let's say 0 0.05 this would increase the size of rocks over here so if you see the size has been increased further similarly if you want you can use the kde features as well in the form of dictionary let's see that kde underscore kws kde is your kde plot kernel density estimation plot and kws stands for keywords now you supply the keywords which we have been using in kde plot right 
so before i proceed further i would strongly recommend if you have not seen the kde plot video the link is showing just at the upper right corner right over here and provided in the description section also just go ahead and watch that first and then come back over here though that's not very important but it's just if you watch that you it will be easy for you to understand all these things moving forward here let's say we want to adjust bandwidth we want to make the bandwidth adjustment how can we do that simple just say this and in here you can say it let's say nine oops something went wrong over here what is it that is saying the unexpected argument it says unexpected argument let me f and to fix that what we're gonna do is just remove the main it's and just use bw adjust so it is bw adjust not the adjustment now if you see the adjustment has been changed but this is not looking pretty good to me so what i'm gonna do is i'll just remove this from here and i'll keep only this thing so this is how you can have all the three things combined together and then you can uh, apply the arguments which we have been using individually in this plot now if you have not seen the kde plot yet uh, like a couple of minutes back i just told you just pause this video go back and watch the kde plot if you have not seen rog plot then just click the link showing at the upper right corner right here and link is also given in the description section just watch that and come back over here and then continue it even if you don't do that it's gonna be fine but if you see that first then it is going to be very interesting for you Moving forward, if you want to change the color of this thing, if you want to apply hue into this, that you can also do. I mean, like we have been doing in all the plots, you uh, using the third variable in the form of, uh, not third, but the second variable as category, which is categorical variable. So that you can do, just say hue equals to, let's say gender. The one which we saw in the example, let's, okay, over there we just saw the payment method let's use that payment okay over there we use that in the co uh, column seg segment but here we are just going to use that as you now this look cumbersome right so if you want you can just you make it stacked how can you do that simple multiple you just need to say multiple and then you can say stack now you have these three payment methods stacked over here all right so this is how you can uh combine the combine the categorical variable in it now what if you want to create this similar chart for two different uh, values which we have in gender column like for male and female for both of those three things you want to separate it how can you do that so for that all that you need to do is just say call and in that you can supply that column name and you have it separated further bravo now you have it separated this one is for female this one is for male you have both of these two separate now let's try to separate it further what are the other variables we don't have any other categorical variable over here so what we can do is let's include one more categorical variable over here and that will be let's see we can use branch let's include branch over here so first we need to in bring that into here right and then we will be able to use that and here in the row segment we can use branch and basis on that it's gonna create multiple rows for each of the branch one row for each of the branch this is called the facet grid functionality so they, we have three rows right so here if you see this is branch a the bottom one is for branch a then the uh, middle one is for branch c and then the top one is for branch b now if you want you can just switch this slightly so that it will be let's put branch in the column and gender in the row so that we will not have to scroll down or up much let's run this Now here we are going to have three columns and two rows. So this is how you can change it, right? Now if you want to 
make it a bar plot all that you need to do is just switch this axis instead of x you're gonna say y and then you would have this is separated sorry uh this would be in the form of bar you have a bar plot instead of the column plot right so this is how you can play around the this plot combine multiple plots together or if you want you can keep one plot as well right after this if you want you can also create the rug plot into this it's an uh, not rug plot and exactly it was in the previous video we just captured that and that was ecdf plot right so what we're gonna do is we will just say sns dot kde sorry this plot let me just copy this from the top all right from here itself i'll just copy this and put it here and from here let me remove all these things okay and after this here i'm just going to use kind fun kind argument and in that I would provide ECDF and then comma then run it wow we just show the error now let's see what is the error that we have multiple is not acceptable over here of course which is very obvious this is applicable to the histograms only right so let's remove that now here we have the rug plot created as well again if you have not seen the rug plot video again the link is showing at the upper right corner right over here just click that link and see that check that out that is actually interesting that was just previous video otherwise link is given in the description section also you can check that out so this is how you can use the disk plot functionality to come uh, create combined plots uh, together and uh, you can plot your data and explore the data this is for now thank you very much for watching this video i just hope that you liked it just in case if you have any doubt do not forget or hesitate to put that into the comment section not only doubt if you have any feedback which you want us to incorporate in our videos please feel free to put that over there we definitely read that and try to get back to you as soon as possible until then happy learning practices as much as possible thank you very much once again wish you very good luck